السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته How are you? I hope you all find third grades And as you know, I'm your English teacher, teacher Lamia Sasbeh Today's lesson is lesson 6, unit 9, listening and speaking This will be in your pupils book, page 115 And in your workbook, page 97 The outcome for today is to know how to compare and contrast information So... In your pupil's book, page 115, we have question number one. Look at the pictures. Look at the pictures. What are the children doing? Picture number one, swimming. That's right. What about two? Playing football. That's right. And number three, playing baseball. And the last one, Getting medals. You did a great job. And now let's move to question number two. Question number two and question number three wants you to listen. Listen carefully, okay? So question number two, listen and write the number of the correct picture. Which day isn't mentioned? We have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Nah, نكتب. عند كل يوم رقم الصورة اللي بتعبر عنه أو النشاط الذي تم القيام به في هذا اليوم طبعا there is a day that it's not mentioned في يوم لم يذكر so listen carefully okay next week is sports camp for everyone we have five days of different sports please everyone Listen carefully. On Monday, you have to wear a tracksuit and trainers. Any questions? Yes, Luke. Why do we have to wear tracksuits? Because in the morning, there are baseball lessons, and in the afternoon, we're going running. Okay. On Wednesday, there's a football competition. Each team has a different uniform. Any questions? Yes, Flo. How many matches do we play? Each team plays four matches. On Friday, we've got a medal ceremony. There are medals for all the sports competitions. Any questions? Yes, Charlie. Are there medals for the winners of the football? Yes, Charlie. There are medals for the winners of all the sports. Oh, and on Thursday, there's a swimming competition. Don't forget your swimming costumes and your towels. Any questions? Yes, Ella. Do we have to bring flip-flops and a swimming cap? You have to bring a swimming cap, but you don't have to bring flip-flops. Okay, so on Monday, excellent, with picture three. What about Wednesday? Wednesday, picture number two, that's right, playing football. And on Thursday, picture number one, excellent. What about Friday? Picture number four. And which day isn't mentioned? That's right, it's a Tuesday. And now, question number three. According to the dialogue that we have listened in question number two, who asks questions about these things? Right, Flu, Ella, Luke, or Charlie. Me and Sal had a lesson. الديالوج أو الحوار اللي سمعنا بسؤال رقم تنين. The first one, football matches. Who asks flu? What about wearing tracksuit? Number two. Who asked about wearing tracksuit? That's right, Luke. Number three, swimming cap and flip flops. Swimming cap and flip flops. That's right, Ella. And number four, medals. Charlie, that's right. And now...
Now, question number four. Why does Luke need these things at sports camp? Look and match. The first one, because it's hot in the afternoon. It's B, water. The second one, because there is a baseball match. So it is E, glove. That's right. What about three? Because there is a swimming competition. So he needs A, a towel. That's right. And number four, because there is a running competition. D, trainers. And the last one, because it's cold at night. So it is C. Excellent. And now let's move to your workbook, page 97. In your workbook, page 97. Read the conversation. Write some words to complete the sentences about the conversation. You can use one, two, or three words. There is one example. So, حنقرأ هاي الحوار بين المعلمة وطلابها. And then, حنجاو. We will answer the, the sentences. حنكمل الجمل بناء على اللي قرأنا. So, teacher, next weekend is a sports camp. We have two days of different sports. Please, everyone, listen carefully. On Saturday, you have to bring a swimming co costume and trainers. Any questions? Joe, why do we have to bring a swimming costume and trainers? Teacher, because in the morning there is a swimming competition and in the afternoon there is a football match. Joe, okay. So here we have an example. The sports camp is for two days next weekend. So, number one, Joe asked why he had to bring uh, a swimming costume. Excellent. And trainers. Number two, on Saturday afternoon, there is a football match. That's right. The next conversation. Teacher, on Sunday morning, there is a baseball match. Any questions? Anna, do we have to bring a glove and a baseball bat? Teacher, no, you don't have to bring a bat or glove. I've got bats and gloves. But bring a bottle of water because it's hot in the sun. So number three, the children, blah, blah, bring a baseball bat. So, yes, that's right. The children don't have to bring a baseball bat. Good job. The children mm -hmm, bring a bottle of water because it's hot. So, do they have to bring a bottle of water or they don't have? They have to bring a bottle of water. Excellent. Why? Because it's hot. And now, the last one. Teacher. On Sunday afternoon, there is a basketball a basketball competition. Any questions? Maria, how many matches do we play? Teach her. Each team plays three matches on Sunday evening. We've got a medal ceremony. There are medals for all the sports competitions. Any questions? Bob? Is there a medal for the winner of the swimming competition? Teacher, yes, Bob. There is a medal for the winners of all sports. So, number five, each basketball team plays... Uh, mm, that's right, three matches. And number six, th there will be for the winners, uh, for the winners of all the competitions. There will be what? A medal, excellent, all medals, that's right. Good job. And now, 